one useful application of large language model is extracting structured data from unstructured data. You can get an LLM to read natural language, identify semantically important details such as names, dates, addresses, and figures, and return them in a consistent structure format regardless of the source format. This can be especially useful when you have unstructured source material like chat logs, server logs, and conversation transcripts. Once you have structured data in Pydentic or JSON format, you can send them to database or parse structured output in code to automate workflows through the function calling feature. In this tutorial, I will explain how to extract structured data in Pydentic class and JSON formats using the famous LLM apps building framework Llama Index. We will use open source LLM Llama 3 available through Grok API as our data extractor LLM. So without further ado, let's get started with the coding part. Alright, so I have kept the total code for this tutorial in this Jupyter Notebook and I will include link to it in the description so you can download and follow along. At the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections. So there are three main sections. So first of all, we will load our LLM, which is Llama 3. Then we will define output schemas. So this will be Pydentic classes or uh, Python classes whose objects we want to create or we want LLM to output the objects of this particular classes. And then in the third section, we will generate the Pydentic or JSON output. So in this section, we will give LLM input with some data, unstructured data. And the output will be the objects of uh, Pydentic classes, which we define in the second section. So first in this cell, I have loaded the environment variable. So I have kept the environment variable in .env file, which is kept in the same directory as this, as this uh, Jupyter notebook. And from those environment variable, I have loaded Grok API key because we will be accessing our LLM through Grok API. So in the first section, uh, we will load LLM. Now, as I said, we will use Grok to access our LLM. So if you don't have account on Grok, then you need to log into this console.grok.com. And there is a section called API key from where you can create API key. Currently, Grok provides these models for free. And because they are free, that's why there is a limit on requests per minute, which is mostly 30 requests per minute. And recently, they added these two models, two new models, which are specifically fine tuned for uh, tool use or function calling. Now, in order to use uh, Grok with uh, Llama index, you will need to install this supporting package llama index llms grocks so do install that now in order to load llm our grok llm we will need to import grok class from llama index llms dot grok and over there we need to provide the name of the model so this is the name of the model llama 3 8 billion version and 8192 is the context size of that llm API key is the Grok API key which we loaded earlier and temperature I have set to 0.0, .0 because I want the LLM to be deterministic. If the temperature is above 0 then it will be non-deterministic and it will generate different output. But in our case we want to generate a structured output. So that's why I have set temperature to 0. Once you have loaded LLM you can call it through complete method where you can provide any query. So I have asked hello how are you and this is the complete response object where text attribute has the response from the LLM. So it's saying hello I'm just an AI and how can I assist you today. So that's how you can load LLM. Next I have defined the classes of whose object we want to create through our unstructured data. So we will define a Pydentic classes. Now Pydentic classes are nothing but uh, Python classes and we extend our python classes with this base model class and the base model class is of type pydentic so for those of you who don't know what pydentic is it's a framework it's a validation framework so whenever you extend your python class with the pydentic class it will perform validation so what kind of validation so it will check for the data type of various fields so when you go and create an object of let's say person class then it will check that whether name you provided is string, age is integer and height is string. And over there height is optional. So if you don't provide height and if you only provide name and age, then also you will be able to create a person object. 
and all the checking whether you have provided height or not and the data type that checking will be done by identity so if you provide a different data type then object creation will fail so that's the usage of pydentic and when you declare a pydentic class for our schemas for giving to llm you are supposed to provide proper detail to llm so you are supposed to provide document string and this document string is important as it will be given to llm when it will generate an input for this particular class and then over here we are also defining this field with description and that is the description of that particular field and that is important as well because all this detail this description and this this talk string all this will be given as a prompt engineering as input to llm as a prompt so it's uh, indirectly part of a prompt so first of all i have declared a person class which has three fields name age and height so we will give input to llm unstructured data which will be a text where the information about a person will be present their name will be present their age and their height information will be present and we want llm to retrieve that detail create an object of person and return it next class is a people class so people is nothing but a list of person objects so if you have more than one persons present in the input query that you provide then we want that it returns a people object so that's the two different type of objects we want output from our llm now that we have loaded our llm and define the schemas of the object that we want as output let's go ahead and generate the structured output from our llm now in order to do that we will need to create an instance of this class llm text completion program and then we will call this instance to generate structured output so you can import it from llama index core program and other than that there is a one more uh, import we need to do which is a pydetic output parser class so generally llm will generate uh, json as output and that json will be given to this pydentic output parser and based on the input to the class it will create an object of that class so in order to create an instance of llm tax completion program we will call the from defaults method on it over there we need to provide llm which is llama3 our llm and then we need to provide prompt template through which we will provide our input data and we also need to provide the output parser and that i have provided output parser pydentic output parser so i have created an object of that class and given it as input person class so that's how it will create an instance of person class now this is the first way of creating this uh, parser if you don't want to include this output parser then you can comment it and you can also include only output class as person and it will work exactly same way as using pydetic output parser and prompt template is uh, quite simple so uh, the prompt template is that you are an expert data processor parse the data from user query and if you don't know any field then set it to none and there is a placeholder query so over here whatever input data unstructured data will provide will go over here so that's how you can create an instance of data parser so once you have created an instance of data parser you can call it like any other object and over there you need to provide a query or placeholder and there you can provide the input text so this input text will be passed and object will be created from it so as you can see from the response uh, anna is 20 years old and 5 foot 5 inch is the input string and output is a person class pydentic output parser created a person class and returned it and the name over there is anna age is 20 which is integer and height is string so that's how you can create a structured pydentic output using llm text completion program now once you have created a pydentic output pydentic object you can call dict method on it and json method on it to retrieve the json or dict output from it so if you want json output then i would recommend that you go through pydentic output parser class because uh, you will have one added step where validation of the data will happen so whatever is the output json that will be the validated data so if you want json output use pydentic output and then convert the pydentic class to the json 
So here is a one more example which I have tried. The Sam is 25 years old and 5 foot 10 inch. So the response is person object with Sam is 25 and his height. And we can again convert it to dictionary. So that's how you can create a person object. So let's go ahead and create a people object which is a list of peoples or list of persons. So again I have created an instance of LLM text completion program from defaults method. And the only difference over here is that Inside of PyDentic output parser, I have passed people class instead of person class. And then again, I have called the, our parser with the query Anna is 20 years old and 5 foot to 5 inch. And now the response this time is a people object. And as you can see, the people attribute of that people object is a list. And that's a list of person object. Now in our case, there is only one person Anna. That's why there is only one person object. And you can easily convert it to dictionary. So over here, as you can see, dictionary, it's a people attribute with list of persons. So in the next cell, I have again called our parser, but this time I have provided information for two people. The first one is for Anna and the second one is for Sam. And as you can see from the response, it's a people object with two persons this time. First person object is representing Anna and the second person object is representing Sam. So we were able to parse uh, information about more than one person if they are present in the response. So I have converted it to dict as well for information. And so next I have tried one more query. So over here I have provided uh, information about more than one people. And apart from providing just simple information about their name, age and height, I also provided some more information to see whether LLM is properly able to parse detail whether they are making any mistakes or not. So other than those information, I provide information where they live, where what they are working currently as. So those information are provided as well. And then I call our parser again with this input data. And the response is people with list of persons. So all the five people are five persons are properly passed. As you can see, first one is Anna, then there is a Sam. Then there is information about Donna, Jack and Ellen. So it's that simple as you can see to parse uh, data using LLM and output structure data by editing output from LLM. So next cell I have again created it to dictionary. Alright so that's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial I explain how to generate a structured output using uh, open source LLM and for coding we use Llama index. Now other than Llama index there is another famous framework called Langchain. And you can use that as well to generate structured output. And I have a separate video and the same as well. So do check it out if you're interested in using Langchain instead of Llama Index. So if you have any doubts or any questions, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section. And see you next time.